Hey guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. So we've been having a bit of a, a bit of a corker of a playthrough so far. Um, if you look at some of the stuff we've got over on this island here, we've got propellers, we've got a fuel tanks, we've got a jerry can, we've got some duct tape. So there's only another two main parts that we need. Um, no idea what they are. I'm guessing it's some kind of engine unit, and I'm not sure what the other thing is. So it's probably something to do with the engine. So we need to uh, go out and explore to get a bit more done. Let's check. Yeah, our food's a bit low. Let's grab... Do we... Do I actually have anything on my my person? Are you cooked? Ah, oh, yes you are. You are a cooked crab. Nommy nommy. So here's my food. I'm still needing a bit of food, but I'm also needing a bit to drink, so... I suppose I could have a little drink of that. Here's my drink. My drink is now full. Now all I need is some food. Right, so let's grab this. Uh, sure, let's let's actually grab you and throw you on the ground. What else have I got that I don't really need? Uh, I'm going to keep my spear, my paddle, my water bottle. don't really need my lantern on me. Uh, especially if I've got my lighter. Right, let's grab the axe right now, and we'll chop up some of the coconuts to eat. Come on, there we go. Ah, uh, one more coconut. I need to figure out exactly how much these actually heal for, or or feed for rather. Okay, so I've got two two pips missing. I have one pip missing. Uh, oh, so they heal for a full pip. Or are they feed for a full pip? Okay, so let's, uh, apparently we've managed to catch some, uh, some crabs in a life raft. Right, do I have my compass? I do not. So let me grab my compass just to make sure. There it is. I don't have my knife, I don't really need it. Uh, okay, where am I going to head? I'll probably be my best, my best bet. Uh, paddle. There we go. I have. I've already headed over to that one there. Right. So let's grab a compass and we'll head to this one here. So that's northwest. So we need to go southeast if we're wanting to get home. Right. Let's paddle. Let's paddle, paddle, paddle. And we'll search for any shipwrecks on our way. And hopefully we'll be able to find the uh, the engine unit that we need and the uh, the other thing. Well, I think it's an engine unit. It might be like engine half or something like that to make the other two things. I just can't seem to think what it is. You need fuel, propeller, or maybe it's like the uh, the drive shaft. Maybe you need a drive shaft. So I'm guessing that's what it'll be. It'll be like the the engine the fuel tank, the propeller and the drive shaft and that's the four things that we need to collect. At least that's what I'm going to assume. If I uh, if I get reason to think otherwise, why did I leave so close to mid uh, so close to night time? That is a ridiculous idea. Ah sorry, I've got my I've got my lighter on me, I've got some food and stuff, so I'm quite happy with it and I know the way to get home anyway, it's to the uh, southeast. Oh just about to have moonrise as well. It should be pretty bright. Like it, it does actually get a lot darker than I, I, I expected it to get. Especially with the number, the sheer number of stars and the, uh, the big bright moon and stuff like that. I did expect it to get a lot brighter. Well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm actually sorely tempted to lay down some little notes on each island. So basically like, I could grab some sticks and place them together to give myself some notification of which way it is back to my home island. So that might be a good idea. But uh, with the compass right now it seems like we're pretty fine for transportational purposes so to speak. 
Uh, I did have a little look at, you know, my, my broken arm that I got. I had a little look at that and apparently we need morphine to fix it and that's just another loot drop that we need to get. So, I might spend some time over on this other island messing about because it's freaking pitch black and I can't see a freaking thing. So there's no point in me going underwater at all. Because I just won't be able to loot the place because I won't be able to see the place. Yeah, it looks like there's, uh, oh frick, it looks like there's sharks freaking everywhere, man. But no, it looks like there's, uh, there's a couple of things underwater that we can kind of look at. Over here at least, so that'll be good. I was going to try and uh, keep pulling myself on land, but that didn't seem to work for me. Right, life raft, I do not want to lose you, so get yourself on land proper. So it's a yucca plant, that's good. Get a stick. If we gather a couple of sticks, we'll be able to make a... What the hell are you? If we gather a couple of sticks, we'll be able to make a quick fire. What is this? I've no idea. I've no idea. Is that a chest I can loot? Oh, it is. An air tank? Oh, sweet. Ah, oh, sugar. I pushed the wrong button. Stick be gone. Air tank. I don't know how I freaking seen that. Oh, that is nice. We would die for a lot longer now. God, sometimes I wish you could craft a backpack because the amount of stuff that I'm carrying about with me that's that I kind of need on these little excursions is ridiculous. Eh, yeah, my food's getting a bit low. I could probably do with eating my coconuts. There we go. Let's uh, grab some sticks and stuff and just toss them in a little pile over here, I suppose. Maybe we can make a little fire and get that set up. I kept pushing F and my guy's arm kept pulling up and I was like, what's he doing? Right, I need to drop something. Uh, something that's not going to get lost, so I'm going to save my spear. There you go. That way I can just run around and pick up all the rocks and all the sticks. Well, at least a, a good few of the rocks and a good few of the sticks. There's a rock there. Hidden rock. And I can put it all together so I can make a nice little campfire or something. So I can wait out the night in style. A little bit of flames. Alright, there's a stick for us. Should be a stick over here, yep. And there's another rock. Score. And we'll back around to where our life raft is. There should be stuff in there, but I can't see a freaking thing to do anything about it. Alright, let's uh, pile up all these sticks. Pile up all these rocks. What can I make? A campfire, huzzah! Alrighty, let's place it there. And get a little light. There we go. Fire. Alright, let's get our axe and smack a crab. And let's go and cook it. Yeah. Burning crab. I hope it cooks like this. Although it does take a little while to cook crab, but yeah, I hope you can cook like this and you don't actually need a spit. Because that would really suck. Come on. What the hell is that? There's something in the distance that looks like it's... No, God knows it is. Mirage. I'm going to say a mirage. I think it was actually something to do with the smoke making something move around and making it look like it was uh, It was a light that was on. Jeez, it's taking its time. I think it's just because I'm watching it that it's taking its time. I'm a lot quicker using the freaking coconuts. Oh my god. 
Can I like, place that down nicely on top of it? Yeah, there we go. In the meantime, let's get some coconuts on the go. Jeez. Mmm, coconuts. Used to always try to open coconuts when I was a kid. Generally, what happened though was you try to open a coconut as a kid and you oh there it goes and you just end up wrecking the freaking coconut because like you're a kid and you're a freaking idiot uh, okay so we need some water and we need something to eat right so there you go come on bash a coconut in half there we are, so that's, we've got two coconut halves so we can eat both of them. There we go. And are we full? Yes we are. Perfect. Right, now we just need to wait until the morning to uh, to go diving and pick up some new goodies from the surrounding waters of this island. I'm actually quite happy that we managed to get a an air tank. That's pretty cool. I'm probably going to try and use it sparingly though, because uh, there's no real point in wasting the air tank. Oh, potatoes. Fiddle dee dee. There we go, look at that. Three potatoes. I wonder if you can cook a potato. Does it make a noise? If I place a potato, does it make a noise? I have no idea. I don't even know if cooked potatoes are a thing. Hmm. Potatoes actually contain, I think it's trace amounts of cyanide, it's some sort of poison. Uh, raw potatoes, so it's actually very un unadvisable to eat raw potatoes. I mean, it would take you like half a freaking sack of potatoes to actually get any sort of poison. But uh, yeah, it's still, it's not a good idea. It can, it's one of those things that can build up in your body over time from eating raw potatoes. I'm sure there's a couple of cases, you can probably find it by googling it. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's not one of those things that you want to mess with. Especially cyanide, it's like, in the, um, what was it, World War II that, like, the, uh, the spies and stuff started using cyanide capsules and stuff like that to, uh, to kill themselves in case they were caught. Like, cyanide is, like, one of the most hideous ways to die ever. You end up freaking, like, frothing at the mouth and choking on your own vomit and spit and stuff. It's, like, such a hideous way to die. What the hell is happening with the freaking shaders here? That's insane. It's like a freaking disco, look at this. What the hell? Well, let's go and have a little look to see if we can see some shipwrecks. At least, at least close shipwrecks, like just off the coast. That one was pretty cool. Pretty happy with that one. I also want to pick up my spear again, which I left just around here. There we go. I was like, yeah, I want to use something that I'm that I won't be able to lose and then placed it in the most retarded of places ever. Uh, so let's shove our... Let's drop our axe here. Let's drop our potatoes there. Let's drop the compass there. The paddle can go there. The lighter. The bottles of water just in case. And right, let's find something to dive for. We're going on a little diving excursion holiday thing. Alright, one is my dive tank and two is my water. Let's uh, check around and see, if, see what we can see, see, see. But all that we can see, see, see is the bottom of the big blue sea, see, see. It seems like this, uh, this lovely island that we found ourselves on is inhabited by nothing. Seems that there's nothing that we can really dive for here. Oh, well that kind of sucks. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Well, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? 
Jeez, all of this way for absolutely jackal. Oh, we got the dive tank, I suppose. I can't really complain. We got a dive tank, so that was alright. But I'm going to have to call it an episode here, guys. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Studio. You've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.